Hey guys, remember me, Kathleen? No? I feel like I haven't filmed the video in so long when it's only been a week, which doesn't seem like a long time to certain people, but I post my videos three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. At least I've been doing that for the longest time. And if you keep up with my videos, you know that I did not post not one video last week, which is really rare for me. So really quickly, I want to tell you why, if you even care, which you probably don't. You probably didn't even notice that I wasn't posting videos. Probably no one cares. But Danny's mom and grandmother came up from Miami last week to visit. They were here from Saturday up until yesterday, which was Sunday. And we have a two bedroom apartment. We have our bedroom where we sleep in obviously. And then we have this room, which is half Danny's office and half my, this area, my beauty area. And the room isn't very big to begin with, but when they came to visit, they obviously stayed in this room because when we have visitors, this turns into like the guest bedroom. So they stayed in this room and there was stuff everywhere, you know, like clothes and just things that they brought. So I could not film at all. Like there was stuff all over my desk. I couldn't film even if I wanted to. This room was so hectic and just full of stuff. And plus I really wanted to, you know, spend time with them. We don't see them very often. So they came up to visit and I didn't want to like ignore them to film. You know, I wanted to spend time with the family as much as I could. But they left yesterday and since today is Monday, it is time to get back into my three videos a week routine that I've been doing. Anyway, enough with story time. Obviously, you know that this is my monthly favorites video since that's what it's titled. So I just want to go ahead and get into the things that I have been loving this month. So the first thing I want to talk about, I was a little skeptical about it when I first got it, and it is the Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer. I have the color Warm Tan. This is the lighter one. The other one that they have is darker. I don't know what that one's called, but this is the lighter one, and it looks pretty damn dark in the pan. I don't know, to me it looks really dark. And it doesn't come off that dark on your skin, which is what I like. It's actually a really, really natural color. Um, when you first swatch it on your hand, it seems a little orange, but it doesn't, see it looks a little orange, but it doesn't show up like that on my skin when I put it on my face. And it blends out really, really well. It comes with a little mirror, by the way, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I was skeptical about this at first because I thought that it was gonna feel like brown grease. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Okay, no, not brown grease. But I thought that it was gonna be really tacky and sticky. So that's why I was a little hesitant to try it, but a lot of people liked it, so I picked it up and I really love it. I like applying it with, no, not that. The Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This honestly buffs it into your skin beautifully. And I really like it because it's not super dewy, um, but it's not like a super matte bronzer either. It's pretty matte for the most part. It doesn't have any shimmers or glitters in it, but it just kind of gives you a little bit of a glow overall, which I really like. And the texture of this is actually pretty strange because once you swirl your fingers in it, it's obviously a cream, but once you do this, like when you feel it in between your fingers, it almost turns into a powder, like it feels a little powdery in my hands. Not thick or creamy at all, which I love. So I actually really have been liking this. Okay, so recently I've been buying a lot of nail polish and I realized that it's all from the same brand. I have just been crazy about the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polishes recently. They are amazing. They're just really opaque with just like one swipe on your nail and they don't chip very easily, which is what I love about them. And they are extremely affordable. I believe they're $2.99 at Target or Walgreens or whatever. I don't, I think it's $2.99. Yeah, they're super, super cheap. Like I said, I've just been loving all the colors, but the one that I am crazy about recently is this one right here and it is um, perfect pairing. It doesn't seem that special or unique in the bottle, but when you put it on your nails, it kind of turns into like a different green, I feel. It's just so unique. I don't have any color that looks like this. And in the sun, my nails glow, like they glow. Um, I got complimented a bunch of times when I was wearing this the other day. I just love it. I wore it in my highlight and contouring video. That's the nail polish I'm wearing in that video. So yeah, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear nail polishes are my obsession right now. Okay, so I have found a liquid liner that that I love just as much as my Maybelline Master Precise, 
which is really rare because this is like holy grail status for me and I found something that's just as good or, at a, or that I like just as good and it is the Jordana Fabuliner you can find the brand Jordana at Walgreens from what I know that's the only place that sells Jordana but I was looking at the Jordana stuff and they came out with a bunch of new things this is old but I was looking at all the new Jordana makeup and I saw this and I decided to give it a try because it is $1.99 at Walgreens and I was running low on my Master Precise and I freaking love this. It is the liner I'm wearing on my eyes right now, which I'm sure you can't tell, but it's such a good, it's good stuff. I got it in the color black and when they say black, they ain't kidding. It is so pigmented. It's like the blackest black liquid eyeliner ever and it's, it's just awesome. When I first opened it, I was a little worried because the tip on this is a little bit fatter than I'm used to. The Maybelline Master Precise, if you know, is like super, super thin. It's a very long felt tip and it comes to a very thin point. And this doesn't. This is more of a marker type of tip, but it creates really, really thin black lines. I actually feel like I get just as thin of an application with this as I do with the Master Precise. Like it makes the thinnest black line in the world. So the tip actually doesn't bother me and the fact that it's shorter kind of helps me be a little bit uh, more precise than the other one does because the other one has a little bit of a longer felt tip. I just really love this. I think it's just as good as my Maybelline one and it's a lot cheaper. Not a lot cheaper but it's $1.99. I think this is about 7 or $8. So I mean you save some money and it's a great liquid liner. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Okay so recently I have been all about pigments. They have been my obsession and I have just been so impressed with the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments. So impressed. I first picked up one of them, loved it so much that I went and I got two more. The first color I have is this one, it's called Never Fade Jade. This is the first one I bought. It is such a rich turquoise color and it goes on extremely pigmented with just one swipe. Like it is a pure pigment, literally. It's so intense and bold, I love it. This next one is called Barely Brazen. It's a very neutral color, like a very creamy color, but it has an intense sheen to it, which makes for a beautiful highlight. I'm actually wearing it as a highlight on my face right now and on the center of my nose, on my cheekbones, and I have it in my tear duct right now and as my highlight underneath my brow bone. It's a beautiful multi-purpose pigment, beautiful on your lid and as a highlight on your face. This one is called Breaking Bronze and I think it's my favorite one out of the three that I own just because I love bronze colors and warm tones and the fact that this is so rich and pigmented and goes on beautifully just with one swipe. I'm just obsessed. I cannot get enough of this color. It's amazing and I don't even use Fix Plus when I use these, which I usually do with my pigments. I always use Fix Plus, but I haven't yet, and it and the pigmentation is there. I haven't used Fix Plus yet, and I love how it looks alone. So imagine with Fix Plus what this will look like. Probably like straight metal or something. It's just amazing. Really quickly though, I have to give a shout out to probably my favorite pigment of all time, and it is Max Pigment in the color Tan. This makes brown eyes pop, green eyes pop, blue eyes pop, any eye color, will just look so intense and beautiful when you wear this. I actually have a tutorial where I use this pigment. Um, I will link that down below if you're interested. It's a beautiful bronze color, but it has some pink to it. Like It looks very rose gold on your eyes, which rose gold is probably one of the most beautiful colors ever. So this pigment is just amazing. So the next product is something that I actually rediscovered in my makeup collection. And it is the MAC Eye Coal in Costa Rich. Costa Richie? Costa Richie? I don't know. But it is a beautiful brown eyeliner because it has really intense red undertones. When you put it on your waterline, you definitely see the red in the brown, which seems a little bit scary, but it just makes green eyes really pop. And it just brings out the green in your eyes. So if you have hazel eyes, I think you would really like this too because it just makes the green come out a lot. And it's a rediscovered item because I wore this eyeliner literally every single day in high school. Like my senior year, I wore this every single day. I bought this multiple times. I actually have a beat up one right here. Um, so I just bought a new one. This one's a little beat up. This is probably one of my favorite eyeliners of all time. It's just so unique. I used it in a recent Get Ready With Me video. It was like a red brown smoky eye and I was like, oh, now I remember why I loved you so much. 
So I've just been obsessed with this all over again. Okay, now moving on to my favorite category in the makeup world, and that is lip products. And I wouldn't be Kathleen if I didn't mention at least one lip product in my favorites video, which I'm not mentioning just one. I have a bunch to talk about, but you know, I have to give a huge shout out to this lipstick because it has been my life for the past couple of weeks. It is Revlon's Super Lustrous Lipstick in Stormy Pink. This is the matte formula, and honestly, I have worn this lipstick every day for the past couple of weeks. I wear it every day to work, which it's like, why are you wearing your bright pink lipstick to work? But that's the thing. This could either be a very intense, bright, bold pink, or it can be very muted and toned down because it's not very pigmented when you first swipe it on your lips, which a lot of people might not like, but I really love that about this. It goes on very soft when you first apply it and then it could build you could build it up to a very intense, bold pink color. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's beautiful. What I love so much about this lipstick is the formula. It's a matte lipstick, but I swear it is like the softest matte lipstick I own out of every matte lipstick I own. This one feels the best. It feels like butter on your lips. It's, oh my god, I can't get enough of this lipstick. I'm probably going to go through this very quickly. It's just, it's my life right now. Okay, so you guys know how much I hate lip gloss. I just hate the texture of them. Ugh, I don't like lip gloss. But I have been really loving these Almay liquid lip balms. They're called liquid lip balms because they're supposed to feel like a balm. You know, like a chapstick. Where it's not sticky or anything like that and it's... They are completely right. There is no stickiness to these guys whatsoever. I'm so impressed. Um, I have this one right here. This one's called Nutrients, and I would swatch this one for you, but honestly, it comes out clear. This is so incredibly sheer that there is no color to this, but I still really love this because I like pairing this on top of like matte lipsticks to give them more of a gloss, or just on top of any lip gloss that feels a little bit lipstick that feels a little bit drying when I want it to be a little bit more, you know, glossy and shiny. Give my lipstick more life. I plop this guy on top and it just brings shine to my lips. So I don't mind that there's no color to this. Um, these other two I really love. This one is called Rosy Lipped and this one is called Blooming. These are also pretty sheer but there is some color to them. I will say that if you're someone looking for a very, very opaque lip gloss, then check out the darker colors in the collection. I know that the darker the colors get, the more opaque they get. Like the darker ones have a lot of color to them and the lighter ones are a little bit more sheer, which is actually what I like about them. Rosy Lipped is just a very classy nude. Like that's what I think of when I think of it. It's just a very classic nude and I think it's a really pretty lip gloss for fall. And then Blooming is just your typical baby pink color. Beautiful on top of other pink lipsticks. It's just a really pretty everyday um, lip gloss to just slap on. The smell on these guys is so delicious. Like you literally want to eat your lips when you put this on. The smell is amazing. The texture is amazing. I am really impressed with these Alme liquid lip balms. Definitely check them out. They're awesome. Okay, lastly when it comes to lipsticks, I have to mention these. These are the Milani Color Statement lipsticks and they have become my favorite lipstick at the drugstore of all time. These are the best drugstore lipsticks I have ever come across. They smell like Jolly Rancher watermelons. Like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> I have very chapped lips, like my lips are usually always chapped. And when I put these lipsticks on, they're so creamy and they just feel so nice that my lips don't even look chapped when I have these on, which is pretty rare. They come in all sorts of colors. I have nothing negative to say about these things. They're creamy, they smell fantastic, they glide on smooth. They're just amazing. I have Nude Cream, which is just your basic um, beige nude color. I think that this would look beautiful on different skin tones. I have this one right here called Sweet Nectar, which is definitely for the bolder girl. It's a very neon orange, um, perfect for summer. And I have this one right here called Rose Hip, which I think would be a favorite amongst a lot of people. It's just a very hot pink. It definitely packs a punch. It's really intense. And then I have this one right here called Uptown Mauve, which I bought it for the upcoming fall months. This is like the perfect pinky fuchsia purple color. It's going to be perfect for the fall. And it just, it looks so beautiful on. 
I swear these are the best lipsticks at the drugstore. They're amazing. Okay, so that's it. These are all the beauty products I have been loving the month of August. Um, definitely check out any of the things I've mentioned. They're all pretty affordable. I think everything except two things um, were from the drugstore this month. I have just been loving them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!